Oh, G Funky Box. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Ruben Villa versus Brandon Valdez. Villa wins a unanimous decision. And this is a fun fight, man. Real a good back and forth action. Um, Villa, again, boxing, moving around. He's a crafty southpaw, very skilled. And look, Valdez came in. He's from Colombia, I believe. And man, he was tough, man. Tough, uh, physically strong, and he landed some good shots, man. He was not afraid to let the hands go, and like, he was able to land some good punches on Villa throughout the fight. Um, but Villa's punches, I mean, in my opinion, the combinations were, were more clean, more crisp. The ring generalship was better. Um, and he's, man, he is so fun to watch because, again, he could be a guy that could just stay, you know, on the outside and, and, and pot shot. But no, he's, he's looking to be aggressive now. He's looking to land heavy shots to try to hurt his opponent and that's what he's trying to do here but again credit to to uh, Valdez because he was man tough he got hit with some shots and he did get rocked at the end of round seven I believe he got hit with a nice clean one two the right hand and straight left from the South Paul Villa and wobbled him at the end of that round and uh yeah man very good fight um happy for my guy Ruben Villa I've interviewed him uh a couple times uh, here on my channel uh you know, he's a really nice kid. He, he has a good team behind him. And I'm very proud that he got this win. Very happy for him. And uh, at the end of the fight, calls out Venado Lopez. You guys know he's already beaten Venado Lopez uh, as a professional. So, yeah, he's looking to uh, get a shot at the champ. And we'll see if he can remain champ after the, uh, the main event tonight. So, that's all I got for this one, guys. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about this fight. This is G-Funky Boxing. I'm out.